بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده My dear respected viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته After the Eid welcome back to the regular program on Channel S towards the origin broadcasted live from the studio of Channel S watched on Sky 734 Inshallah the repeat of the program will also be broadcasted on the following day and also you will find us later on on our YouTube channel Inshallah, today's discussion will be on the topic of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hero. We know the results have been published, whether it be the GCSE results or the A-levels. Alhamdulillah, as community, we should be very proud that we have our children, our next generation, our future generation. In majority, if I say, if I may say, based on the reports that we have seen, Alhamdulillah, have been very, very successful. And this is where certain concepts come into play that many parents might say, so-and-so are your role models, so-and-so you should follow the footstep. Is that the correct notion based as, Mus as Muslims? How should we view in today's 21st century Rasulullah Can he be our role model? Can he be the hero? And what lessons can we derive from his um, methodology? How can we see his success that we can contemplate, that we can implement in our today's day-to-day -to -day life? And inshallah, not only we can be perhaps beneficial in this world, our main objective and priority in this world is how to be also successful in the hereafter. All of this and many more, inshallah, we'll be discussing in our tonight's program with our regular guest, who is a well-known personality within our community. He is the respected Imam and Khatib of the famously known mosque, Regent's Park Mosque, <coughs> and a graduate from Al Azhar University, Fadilat al Sheikh Qadi Lutfur Rahman. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the program towards the origin after a short uh, break or gap. That's would right. Say. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. Um, Shall we start our program in this understanding that in 21st century that we live in, our young generation, our generation, we have role models in our life. Perhaps some could see as people who are successful professionally. Some people would say who are successful in sports and games. Some yes. people would say in film industry. A lot of different types of people out there who have got name, fame, perhaps wealth and assets to the name that a lot of other people follow. And in the advent of social media, we've got fan following based uh, mm -hmm. personalities, people, even if we look at it from the perspective of the religious scholars or so-called speakers or writers, have got huge number of fans following. Mm -hmm. now, in today's world, in today's generation, how can we or our future generation can see Rasulullah as a role model, as a hero that we can be proud about? Barakallahu feekum. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen. Nabiyyina Muhammad ibn Abdullahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Thumma ma ba'd after praising Allah and sending salam and salutations to the noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I testify that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. He is one and he has no partners. And I also testify that the noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the final messenger and slave of Allah, the Almighty. Um, now, uh, today, in today's time, just as you have mentioned, uh, Brother Qamar, that we have different, different role models. We have different heroes. We have different celebrities. We look up to people. So for some of us, we have got like some players like that we really look up to and we take them as our role model. Um, for others, it could be like some actors. For others, it could be- Singers. Um, uh, like, yes, yeah, singers, yes, yes, singers. Um, for, for some people, it could be like political leader, like some sort of political leader. Uh, for some people, it could be entrepreneurs or businessmen, as you have also mentioned. And for even some people, it could be comedian. Um, so different people have different role models, different heroes um, in their life. Um, yes. But can I add a little bit? But if you look at the common thing that people associate with all of those famous personalities is their wealth and assets. Yeah, yeah. And that's, yes, that's one that's common, common thing. thread. Because normally we see why you look up to somebody. What, what are the actual reasons? So sometimes it could be that. Ex excellent skills of those people and a lot of time it's money the wealth 
oh, this guy has so much money. And I, that's the reason why I talk, take him as role model. And you see a lot of discussion around this place, um, around the topic, how many houses so-and-so yeah, has. Yeah, how many how millions, many he, oh, millions uh, he, he owns. Possessed, yeah. Like how many billions, oh, billions net worth. Uh, net worth. And those mm. are the discussion. And based on that, we also sometimes fall into that trap of uh, the measure of success or yes. the measure of name and fame. And I think it's more, more like uh, it's dunya-based or, or worldly concentrated uh, success that people look uh, look into and so therefore they find different people to be their role model but honestly they're not permanent like you see sometimes people like they have a role model in in in, in music uh, field and then sometimes people have in, in in like sport fields but then these change they're not permanent so people do change their their views and their minds as well and the other thing also, one thing, I think the major element as Muslim that we miss is how has that wealth been acquired? Was yes. that through halal? Yeah, that's so that's another I question. That's what we feel. Yeah, to yeah. Pr Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually said, like, you know, he would never ask on Yom Al-Qiyamah, how much money did you earn? He would say, how did you earn? Mm -hmm. He will never ask, like, and actually, oh, sorry, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will never ask that how much did you earn? He would say, how did you earn and where did you spend? Or that Amadir Pio Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bolechen Ya Allah Pak Rabbul Alamin Kya Mother Din Amadir Kuch Jigashkor Bena Jai Tumar Koto Pwasha Chilo Pa Koto Tumar Mal Chilo Koto How Much Was It Uri Jigashkor Bena Kiba Bhe Tumhi Upar Jun Kora Chile Ya Bung Kuta Ya Tumhi Ita Kya Khoras Kora Chile Spend Kora Chile Eiba Bhe Rasul Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bolechen Jai Amadir Allah Pak Rabbul Alamin Amadir Kuch Prasno Kora Bena Right So Now As Muslims Who Should Be Actually Our Role Model This Is An Important Question and I believe that we, uh, many of us, we actually, we, we claim that we love the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi the most. And we claim this. Every one of us almost, we claim that we love him. Well, but, but that has to be proven through our actions. But that was 1400 years ago, now we live in 2018, how can that be fair? Right, now let's come to see, of course we as Muslims, we definitely speak good about our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have all the time, but we have all the time, 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 we have all the time. Now, the greatness of an individual, it's proven when the praises and when the gratitude and when the words, kind words come from opposite side, from outside the, the fold. Or that ekjon manusher je mohotto apne jodi dekhte chan, ta hole apne dekhben unar baireer jara, unar unar ke jara anushoron kore na, unar jara mukhalif, opposition jara, ora ki bolte chhe. To kono apne ei manusher kintu greatness ke apne bushte parbe na how great he was really. Uni kintu koto bolo chilen. Ejin shita amra onno dir, onno opposin khem teke jokan ashbe, tokhon eitar praman hobe je uni really koto bolo ebang koto mohan bhekti chilen. Let's see, look at, look into some of the statements of some of the non-Muslim great thinkers and intellectuals. Let's see what they said. Amra dekhi je Rasulai Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam burke kisu o Muslim Bishashaggo, O Muslim Buddhi Jibhi, O Muslim Jara Chinta Bhi Chilen, O Dher Ki Dharuna Chilo, Amra Ekto Dekhe Nai. There is somebody called by the name of Thomas Carlyle, was a famous Scottish philosopher, historian, Ek John Darshanik, Ek John Uithyashik Chilen, who gave a series of lectures in 1840. Or that, Atarashu Cholishin Rejitwini, Ekta, a series of lectures Unidhiya Chilen, Thomas Carlyle, Jai, a Scottish Darshanik, Ek Uithyashik. एवं वही लेक्चरर का टाइटल बा वही लेक्चरर का जो टॉपिक का नाम चिलो ऑन हीरोज एंड हीरो वर्शिप ऑन हीरोज एंड हीरो वर्शिप ही सेलेक्टेड मुहम्मद टू बी हिज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए प्रोफेट एस ए हीरो सुबहानअल्लाह नॉन मुस्लिम इंटेलेक्चुअल टमस कालाइल ही इज सेइंग इन हिज लेक्चर दैट रसूलुल्लाह प्रोफेट his example of a prophet as hero and his discourse has been a uh, um, uh, cornucopia of quote, quotations on the shortcomings of Islam on one hand and examples of blatant Orientalism on the other. Khalil admired the success of Muhammad Sallallahu and his Islamic religion. So that's obviously the statement of Khalil. Let me just let me just mention now. Kalail, the Thomas Khalil, when he amadir pionabi Rasul Ekrim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the success on the kamyavi. उनार जे धर्मो ऐठा की कुनी उत्तम तो 
অত্যন্ত মহব্বত করতেন সো হি সেট এ গ্রেট চেঞ্জ হোয়াট এ চেঞ্জ অ্যান্ড প্রোগ্রেস ইজ ইন্ডিকেটেড হিয়ার ইন দি ইউনিভার্সাল কন্ডিশন অ্যান্ড থোটস অফ ম্যান দ্য হিরো ইজ নট নাও রিগার্ডেড এজ এ গড এম হিজ ফেলো ম্যান অর্থাৎ রসুল করিম সাল্লা আলি ইসলাম যদিও খুবই একজন মহব্বতের ব্যক্তি ছিলেন কিন্তু কেউ নাকি আল্লাহ বলে নেয় খুদা বলে নেয় নো বডি ক্লেম দ্য হিজ এ গড So that's surprising for somebody who's, who's coming from Christianity or from a, from a background of Christianity. And neither did he claim ever any divinity. Or... Exactly. So, he said that not now regarded as God among his fellow men, but as one God inspired as a prophet. So, he said that Allah is the first of all. It is the second phase of hero worship. The first of the first or oldest we may say has passed away without return in the history of the world there will not be again be any man never so great whom his fellow men will take for a god nay we might rationally ask did any set of human beings ever really think the men they saw they standing beside them a god of this world perhaps not it was usually some men they remembered or, or had had seen but neither can this any more so Thomas Carlyle, according to um, his statement, according to his understanding, the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the hero. So, in our uh, opinion, the most important thing is that Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most important thing. Now, we can see that Thomas Carlyle was the most important thing. The Scottish Tarshani, the Uitiyash, he said that he was the most important thing. So, this is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. We can see that we can see that we can see that we can see that. তারপরে আমরা দেখি ব্রিটানিকা আর একটা গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ইনসাইক্লোপিডিয়া যে এটাকে বিশ্বকোষ বলা হয় ইনসাইক্লোপিডিয়া অফ ইংল্যান্ড ব্রিটেন ব্রিটানিকা ব্রিটানিকার বাস্য অনুযায়ী বলা হয় যে রসুল করিম সাল্লা আলাইসাল্লাম দ্য নোবেল প্রফেট মোহাম্মদ সাল্লাম ওয়াজ দ্য মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফিগার্স পলিটিক্যাল অ্যান্ড রিলিজিয়াস ফিগার্স ইন দ্য হিস্ট্রি অফ ম্যানকাইন্ড অর্থাৎ রসুল করিম সাল্লা আলাইসাম সব থেকে বেশি প্রভাবশালী ধার্মিক এবং রাজনৈতিক ব্যক্তিত্ব ছিলেন মানে মানব জাতির ইতিহাসের মধ্যে এই সব তো ঠিক আছে আমরা তো সবাই মানছি কিন্তু তারপরে এখানে আরেক সাইড থেকে পিপু মেই সেই হি ইজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য মোস্ট ক্রিটিক্যালি এক্লেমড পারসন ইন দি ওয়ার্ল্ড টুডে দ্যাট পিপু আইদার ট্রাই টু মেক ফান অফ হিম অর ট্রাই টু মেক কার্টুনস অন হিজ নেম এন্ড সো অন এন্ড সো ফর ইয়েস এন্ড আই থিংক দিস ইজ আ সাইন অফ আ সাকসেস এনিবডি হু বিকাম সাকসেসফুল ইন দিস ওয়ার্ল্ড will get some sort of criticism people will talk bad about him people will talk evil about him amar mone hoy manush jokon manusher jokon kamyabi tar success jiboner moddhe ashe tokhon amra dekhi dushman ra kibhabe onar biruddhe uthe pore lage jay ebong rasul karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam er byapare kintu eta prothom jukti theke hoyeche kintu jara bujdar jara buddhijibi understanding fair minded jara chilo tara sob shomoy rasul karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam somporke bhalo opinion diyeche bhalo স্টেটমেন্ট দিয়েছে এবং এইটার প্রমাণ আমরা পাচ্ছি ভিন্ন ভিন্ন অমুসলিম দার্শনিক এবং চিন্তাবিদদের কথার মাধ্যমে আলোচনার মাধ্যমে এবং আমি মনে করি আজকে যখন বিশ্বের মধ্যে কিন্তু রসুল করিম সাল্লা আসলামকে ব্যঙ্গ এবং ওনাকে নিয়ে ঠাট্টা এবং ওনাকে নিয়ে মেক বা মোখারি করার যে যে পায়ে ছাড়া চলতেছে এইটাকে কিন্তু এইটার সব থেকে উত্তম যে উত্তর হচ্ছে or the best answer to this is by sharing the greatness of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now that is this is an important thing because people many of those people who actually attempt to take me or uh, uh, make Mockery. fun fun out of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they really do not know much about him but then again people those kind of people they have a standing on this basis on the point that if i can mock about anyone why is islam why does islam should be different i should have the freedom to mock about islam now yes i have just seen recently somebody says like if you speak against judaism then it's anti-semitism and which is right i mean we are not allowed to make fun out of anybody and then if you speak against uh, uh, um, uh, uh, like uh, against the, the homosexuality then it's it's um, homophobia so if you speak about certain things then there is a name for it but when somebody speaks against islam then that's a freedom of expression hmm. i mean this is something that we need to really think or that amra jokhon ehudibader biruddhe kon ke kotha bolen tokhon bola etake anti semitism bole etake etar biruddhe ebong etake stop korar jonno chesta koren jara homosexual homophobia bole etake chesta koren kintu islam er bipokke jokhon kotha bola hoy rasul ekrim sallallahu alaihi wasallam jokhon biruddhe jokhon kotha bola hoy tokhon etake bola hoy freedom of expression এটার মধ্যে কিন্তু আমরা 
একটা তফাত দেখতেছি উই ক্যান সি এ ক্লিয়ার ডিফারেন্স এন্ড ক্লিয়ার ডাবল স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ডাবল স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ইয়েস দ্যাটস হোয়াট উই ক্যান সি হিয়ার এন্ড উই হ্যাভ টু বি রিয়েলি ফেয়ার এন্ড এন্ড জাস্ট উইথ आवर সেলফস এন্ড উইথ উইথ পিপল ইন সোসাইটি দ্যাট ইজ অ্যানাদার থিং ফর মুসলিমস অ্যাজ ওয়েল টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইফ দে ডু ইট ইন দিস ওয়ে শুড শুড উই অলসো স্টুপ লো এন্ড do the same to no, their no, religion no no again now idfa billati hi ahsan the concept of al quran al karim and the concept of islam is 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 a, a, a prevent something or reciprocate with something that is better just because somebody became bad that doesn't mean that we become bad as well just because somebody okay. done you know uh, evil to me that doesn't mean i have to do that but unle- unless i do something to stop or prevent that through a very legal and very uh, a formal way to stop those kind of things if, if they are occurring again and again Uh, but uh, yes um, uh, at this time of the world we see many people that attempt to actually um, mo- make mockery out of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i believe the best way to answer uh, uh, you know to these kind of events or to these kind of attempts is by spreading the teachings of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to introduce this great prophet alayhi salam to mankind and this you see will attract more people coming to islam rather than people becoming negative about islam now that's true but on the other side jahan amr shuni kewji the critics of islam and muslim talk about it sometimes as muslim we fall in the trap as well and oh that must be true based on limited understanding of ourselves yes 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 and we and, think and, that and, okay that yes, could be the reason that, that's right because sometimes some of us as muslims we do not have much fundamental knowledge about islam and we listen a lot mm. uh, to to uh, like those who speak bad and evil about islam and in a very confusing way and this is the reason why i think we're losing a lot of people many people are becoming atheist and uh, do you realize that there are many muslims actually losing losing their faith not only that we have and, seen and they're, groups they're like ex muslims and uh, former muslims and a lot of other yes. names have and i remember one of the scholars like revert muslim scholars in america he said that nobody lives islam islam lives them Mm-hmm. nobody lives islam but actually islam lives them or that kyo kintu islam ke chade jete chade jan na chade jan na islam unad ke chade jaye so it's very important statement and it's a powerful statement and and it's by somebody who actually reverts to islam so uh so if actually the non muslims knew about the correct uh, uh character of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam amader kintu o muslim ra ebong jara musliman der moddhe jara অনেক যারা শিক্ষিত সমাজের অনেক মুসলমানরা যারা আছেন আমরা যদি সত্যিকার অর্থে রাসুল করিম সাল্লাল্লাহু আলাইহি ওয়াসাল্লামের যে মহত্ত্ব এবং গুরুত্ব এবং উনি কি ছিলেন এই জিনিসকে জানতে পারতাম তখন কিন্তু আমরা এই রাসুল করিম সাল্লাল্লাহু আমরা হিরো মনে করতাম উনাকেই আমরা সেলিব্রিটি উনাকে আমরা বানাইতাম রোল মডেল বানাতাম রোল মডেল বানাতাম এবং উনার উনাকে আমরা অনুসরণ করতাম আমাদের জীবনের প্রতিটি ক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু প্রবলেম হচ্ছে আমরা রেখে দিই উনাকে মসজিদ পর্যন্ত সীমিত see this is a problem and we'll come to this inshallah we'll talk about this now according to britannica is considering muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be the most influential and most important figures uh, p- uh, political and religious figure in the history of mankind now there is somebody also called uh, um, alphonse de lamartine uh, alphonse de lamartine is a french writer uh, uh, who was um, uh, who existed around 1869 and he's a french writer poet and politician who was instrumental in the foundation of the second republic of france speaks on the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his book history of turkey i think the people of france should look into that uh, their great uh, leader Al- uh, alphonse de lamartine uh, what he said about the noble prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so would this probably would reduce some of the islamophobia that are uh, you know a, a lot of people who are suffering from islamophobia so alphonse de lamartine he said philosopher talking about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam darshanik orator ekjon kintu ottonto bhalo bokta very good well eloquent speaker orator apostle uni ekjon um, allah pak rabbul alamin ekjon khubi close byaktitto legislator or ayn pronoun koren uni legislator muqannim rasul ekrim sallam a warrior somebody who is strong in the battle to defend the 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 freedom and rights and f- to defend the faith conquer of ideas conquer of ideas uni manusher idea ke uni joy korte perechen so he he conquered the ideas of people uh, restorer of rational dogmas and then he said of a cult without images the founder of 20 terrestrial uh, terrestrial empires or that uni bishti samrajjer shashok ebong founder 
উনি বিশটি রাষ্ট্রকে উনি সাম্রাজ্যকে রসুল করিম সাল্লাম শাসন করে গিয়েছেন স্পিরিচুয়াল এম্পায়ার দে নো জাস্ট লাইক ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ডলি ইন সেকুলার এম্পায়ার স্পিরিচুয়াল এম্পায়ার ইউ ক্যান ইমাজিন হাউ ডিফিকাল্ট ইস টু এস্টাবলিশ স্পিরিচুয়াল এম্পায়ার্স দ্যাট ইজ মোহাম্মদ হি সেইং দ্যাট ইজ মোহাম্মদ আলফন্স দ্য মার্টিন ইজ সেইং দ্যাট ইজ মোহাম্মদ সাল আসাম এজ রিগার্ডস ওল দি স্ট্যান্ডার্ডস বাই হুইচ হিউম্যান গ্রেটনেস মে বি মেজেড উই মে ওয়েল আস্ক ইজ দের এনি ম্যান গ্রেটার দেন হি হি ইজ আস্কিং কোয়েশ্চেন দের ইজ দের এনি ম্যান উনি প্রশ্ন করতেছেন ওনার বক্তব্য শেষের দিকে উনি বলতেছেন যে কোনো আমরা এরকম কোনো একজন ব্যক্তিকে পাই যে রসুল করিম সাল্লা আসাম থেকে মোর গ্রেট ওনার থেকে রসুল করিম সাল্লাম থেকে আরও বেশি গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এবং মহৎ ইজ দের এনি ম্যান গ্রেটার দেন হি মোহাম্মদ সাল্লাহ আলী ইসলাম অ্যান্ড দ্যাস আলফুন্স দ্য লামাটিন talking about muhammad describing as the role model in every single aspect of a human life see what he says philosopher or a apostle and there's more to this actually he never mentioned he didn't mention everything that rasul akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam is much more than what he said but this is an, an example of a non muslim thinker non muslim historian and writer my dear viewers we have been listening to one of the conversation that many critics of islam when they talk positively about our prophet our beloved prophet peace be upon him there's something that we have to take a lesson from it however as muslim that's nothing new to us because sami'na wa ata'na the quran clearly says that we've been told about it we listen and we have firm belief and faith in him is just some of ta- some time we see because of our shortfall because of our limited understanding and knowledge perhaps we may fall into the trap of actually questioning certain characteristic of our beloved prophet peace be upon him inshallah we'll continue our discussion but after a short break do stay with us tune with us we'll be right back in a few moments wassalamu alaikum